And let me be clear. We reject the ICC's application for arrest warrants against Israeli leaders. Whatever these warrants may imply, there is no equivalence between Israel and Hamas. And it's clear Israel wants to all, do all it can to ensure civilian protection. But let me be clear. Contrary to allegations against Israel made by the International Court of Justice, what's happening is not genocide. We reject that. And we always stand with Israel and, and the threats against its security. At an event marking Jewish American Heritage Month, President Joe Biden criticized the International Criminal Court, which is also called ICC, for seeking arrest warrants for Israeli leaders, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, over alleged war crimes in Gaza. Biden reiterated that his administration stands with Israel in its efforts to combat Hamas, stressing, we want Hamas defeated, and we are working with Israel to make that happen. He emphasized that his administration will always ensure Israel has the necessary resources to defend itself against Hamas and other enemies. Biden dismissed the ICC's allegations against Israel as unfounded, stating, what's happening is not genocide. He called the effort to arrest Netanyahu and Defense Minister Yoav Gallant as outrageous and underscored that there is no equivalence between Israel and Hamas. Earlier, Secretary of State Antony Blinken also condemned the ICC's move as shameful, warning that it could jeopardize ongoing negotiations on humanitarian aid and hostage releases in Gaza. Here is the official statement from Matthew Miller, spokesperson for the U.S. State Department. As the Secretary said in a statement a short time ago, the United States fundamentally rejects the announcement today from the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court that he is applying for arrest warrants for senior Israeli officials together with warrants for Hamas terrorists. There should be no equivalence between Israel and Hamas. None. Hamas is a brutal terrorist organization that carried out the worst massacre of Jews since the Holocaust and is still holding dozens of innocent people hostage, including Americans. Furthermore, the United States has been clear since well before the current conflict that the ICC has no jurisdiction over this matter. The ICC was established by its state parties as a court of limited jurisdiction. These limits are rooted in pr principles of complementarity, which do not appear to have been applied here, amid the prosecutor's rush to seek these arrest warrants, rather than allowing the Israeli legal system a full and timely opportunity to, pr to proceed. In other situations, the prosecutor deferred to national investigations and worked with states to allow them time to investigate. The prosecutor did not afford the same opportunity to Israel in this case, which has ongoing investigations into allegations against its personnel. There are also deeply troubling process questions. Despite not being a member of the court, Israel was prepared to cooperate with the prosecutor and had made that clear. In fact, the prosecutor himself was scheduled to visit Israel as early as next week to discuss the investigation and hear from the Israeli government. The prosecutor's staff was supposed to land in Israel today to coordinate the visit, and instead, Israel was informed that the prosecutor's staff didn't get on their flight around the same time that the prosecutor himself went on television to announce these charges. These circumstances call into question the legitimacy and credibility of this investigation. Finally, this decision does nothing to help and could jeopardize ongoing efforts to reach a ceasefire agreement that would get hostages out of Gaza and surge humanitarian assistance in. Those are the goals that the United States is pursuing and will continue to pursue despite these actions by the ICC prosecutor. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.